guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a minute but i'm back now and today i have a guest a friend of mine you guys probably know her from plant love africa hey guys Cherise. she's according to me she's my plant expert and so we're just recording a video for her channel Go follow her on her channel, subscribe to her channel. What's her channel? Plants Love Africa. Hi guys, my name is Sharice and I am Guli's friend. Okay, sweet and short. Isn't that an enough? <laughs> good enough? <laughs> guys, isn't that good enough? If I if Nguli is my friend then like that's I've, it. I've sort of made it in life. Okay, wow. That's enough. Dramatic munch. Okay. Anyway, so today we're gonna be talking about minimalism. Hectic right. because this table is so full. Well, not exactly minimal. Not, uh, it is now. It's just one plant and two girls looking cute. Okay. Minimalism is it's a very broad concept and it's yeah. different to different people. Yeah. So it can mean something to me, it can mean something to her. But when I remember when it's when you when you first learn about it, you try to imitate the people yeah. that you're learning from. Mm -hmm. But as you continue educating yourself, mm -hmm. then you realize that actually you can make it very personal to you. Yeah. Because some people, if you've seen on YouTube, some people have like twenty five clothes. That's crazy. Like, do you work? Do you do you go to school? Or do you, do just you have a life? Twenty five items of clothing not outfits but items that's sort of not gonna fly in the black community also no because <laughs> there's like all white baby showers uh blue jeans white top all black tradition exactly it's just, exactly it's a hard concept yeah so i'm gonna tell you what it means for me and sharice is recently just um exploring and I believe she's trying to make it work for her to be a minimalist. Like I said, just because someone is a minimalist doesn't mean that you're going to see me with one piece of clothing every time because I'm a minimalist. There are people who live like that. They pe there's people that don't sleep, don't have beds. They sleep on the floor. I envy that life. Your back. I don't want to have back problems. Okay. So for me how i understood it is have something that that you use it for it must have a purpose right mm. so i'm not just gonna buy an outfit because of i feel like buying an outfit so if i have enough shirts and i have enough trousers and yeah. i have enough dresses yeah. and i wear all of them mm. for me that's minimalism great not um having two dresses or three dresses that i put aside and i only wear them on special occasions mm. i once um saw this tedx right yeah. so this lady was ex uh, explaining the concept of a candle don't let your candle melt so she says she's a minimalist and she was having this ted talk and she says that she went overseas and she bought this beautiful expensive candle like mm. special right mm -hmm. and then she's like i'm gonna light this candle at a very special moment yeah she took the candle she put it in her wardrobe every time she wants to light the candle she doesn't like no it's not special mm -hmm. enough two years later she opens the wardrobe and the candle did what it was supposed to do which is melt it but it did. melted without her Whoa. so we don't want to have things that we only use on special occasions Every occasion is special. Hectic. Every moment is special. Yeah. So I don't have anything that I, I keep aside and say, no, this dress is specifically for a certain occasion. If I feel like today I want to rock this dress, I'll rock the dress. Right? So that's what minimalism means for me. Just like hold that thought. <laughs> is this an ad break? I don't know. Just, that was a deep, that was a deep. That was she deep. goes and fetches her candle. We need a candle for this. <laughs> we we need a candle. Just just say that last line. Like don't let your candle melt. Don't let your candle melt without you. Because the candle did the job, it melted, but without her. So wear your dress. Wear those nice shoes you bought. Wear that expensive jewelry. Right. Wear use that bedding. Use those curtains. 
use those dishes don't yeah, wait for the visitors the dishes, the dishes. you know we're not gonna repeat what our parents did the no. special dishes for visitors no we must use every i mean you bought it you worked for it so mm. use it true so for me that's what minimalism mean for me that i use everything that i have and everything i have serves a purpose of some sort even this t-shirt i like this t-shirt i feel like it's a statement Ugh. and i need more and of these really, yeah, like, <laughs> i need more of these you know so yeah that's that's what minimalism is for me so how are you finding through your research and trying to understand what do you think it means for you i think i'm i'm probably going to define myself as a struggling minimalist okay and that concept also sort of feels a bit like I undeserving, undeserved, because I haven't quite reached the point that I'm trying to reach. Mm. But then I look around myself and I'm constantly trying to declutter. And I think, especially this year, my greatest purpose, because I just moved places, mm. I've been trying to ask myself with every single item I earn, what is your purpose? Mm. And yes, you may have a great purpose, but what is your purpose in my life? Mm. And maybe I'm discovering that some items have served their purpose. Mm. And it's time that they... I mean, that's deep. <laughs> if this is you, a deep moment. <laughs> you know, and maybe you can... It, it can serve that same purpose or different purpose for someone Something else. else. That is true. That is true. So... I'm struggling a bit with minimalism because ideally, like I was telling you about this table, mm. I'd really prefer to live in a space that's clutter free mm. and where I like, I really admire the concept of having a furniture free household, mm. you know, mm. but it's also not functional. And like you were saying, sometimes we learn from these people or the people we look up to and we want to copy it, mm. but then it's not practical for you. Especially because I'm a person who likes entertaining people. A six-seater table is very practical and very, functional. Very. So, right now, I think... Kuli came here and, you know, I'm going to send her the video so she can insert it in this video. <laughs> and she was trying to tidy up my surfaces because she was saying, you don't actually have a lot of things. She doesn't. You just need to put your things... Like she was cold calling me untidy, but you know, that's no, a different No, it's just placing everything. Everything has its home and she doesn't have a lot of stuff, guys. She really doesn't. You really don't. Like, you're, it's well, not like you I know, enter into a house first, and I get anxiety because there's so much stuff. No, there's people that just, you just get so anxious because there's so much stuff. Exactly. Like, you know, room divider and things. Oh, but when, like we, we grew up in such a cluttered space. space. That's the thing. Our parents love clutter. And I guess they also, it's like sort of a behavioral inheritance that they got from their parents. Yeah. And so we are the generation to say, we don't need stuff. We really don't need stuff. We just need stuff that you're going to use and be functional. Speaking of decluttering. Mm -hmm. So I've recently learned that sometimes we can over declutter because we go, we just learned about this new thing and we just want to be perfect yeah, deep too in. quick. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so we tend to give away stuff that really do have a meaning yeah. to us. You know, sometimes yeah. uh, some people would say, uh, don't keep, let's say this is from your grandmother yeah. and then someone I, I say to you know just take a picture of it and give it away you don't really use it mm. that's what some people do but if it really has a meaning to you or yeah. for you then keep it and if you use it load shedding we live in south africa i mean load shedding I mean, those candles we get from typo are not going to give you lights you need to yeah. be practical you know so minimalism sort of mustn't cause you stress stress it mustn't then it defeats the whole purpose it really defeats the whole purpose so you you when you did lads up mm. i don't know if you've started but be sure that you want to give away that thing mm. don't just say i don't wear this mary kind of gonna quote yeah. her does this does this spark joy, joy? <laughs> This is spark joy. That sparks fear. I'm scared of those things. But 
you get my point right mm-hmm. like sometimes people do clutter and i almost went through that but mm-hmm. luckily for me i'm in a process of changing my wardrobe so whatever that i've given away i don't regret <laughs> because then it's giving me an opportunity to get more things but not like go on go on a shopping spree but you know i think some people sort of naturally or maybe based on their background which is different because like i feel like you've always had an affinity to its minimalism her closet is just two doors no it's one door oh snap <laughs> it's one tiny no. door <laughs> and then you walk into her mother's closet her room and like it's a completely different scene <laughs> so like how does that happen how how do you come from a background that's completely different from anti-minimalism <laughs> mm. and become minimal you know what look at it as someone who grew up in an abusive household it's i'm sorry to get so deep guys but it's just something that came to my mind if uh it's either that person is going to be very abusive as well repeat the cycle mm. or that person is going to put an end to it Mm. yeah so it's it's also to do because minimalism also helps with your finances yeah. that's what i realized because then if you stop buying things that you don't need you kind of see that you're actually saving money and mm. it also takes you on another journey to explore on how you can manage your finances which that will probably be another video because that's just another story Oof. yeah talk about money here yeah so don't talk about money in january <laughs> Hey, it's almost the end of January, we survived. But yeah, for me, that's because that's how I feel. We see, okay, fine, this is where I come from. I mean, grew up in a very small house and a home for maybe blazers would be here and this would be, you understand? Yeah. You get and visitors come in and it's kind of a normal thing because it's a small house. But now you have space, so put your things where they need to be. Give your place a home. Mm. I mean, sorry, give your, your thing a home. Your scissors, your plants, everything must have a home. So speaking about that, if someone is watching this video and wants to be a minimal or minimize, mm. what are like the top three things to do? Where do you start, essentially? Good question. And this is not sponsored by Netflix. I hope it would be, though. But they just released a, a, a documentary mm. from these two guys you guys probably know. I think it's called The Minimalist. But if you just search minimalist, you'll find it. I think it is available on YouTube. And there's so many YouTubers that you can follow yeah. that will give you insight. And, um, okay, top three from my head besides watching videos is why do you want to be a minimalist? Yeah. Remember, being a minimalist is simply simplifying. Mm. Why do you want to simplify you get the answer to that and then what is it that you think you have a lot of yeah do you need that much stuff sometimes you could have 10 of these scissors do you really need 10 of the scissors or do you just need this kind and this kind and it's functional yeah and then the third one don't give away and go replace because then you're not um, you, you're not simplifying anything. Yeah. You just it's just upgrading your life. That's it. Mm. Even with me, as I'm saying, because I'm changing my wardrobe, it's not like I gave away half my clothes and I went and bought half that mm. I've given away. I probably for the past um, couple of months I've bought like three dresses. Mm. You know, that's the which are new and one pair of shoes. But don't give away four t-shirts and then go on an online shopping spree and buy four t-shirts. No defeats the purpose exactly yeah. so those are my top three what was number one why do you want do to do research simplify? yeah yeah do research mm. right do research netflix has documentary and youtube has a whole lot of documentaries i mean of um youtubers that speak about this topic like literally their channel is just focused on that and how to do they have more information they show you how to declutter mm. and also you learn how to marie kondo style marie kondo right mm. you fall like you, you guys it's it's exciting you know i'm getting excited i see Mm-mm. but yeah i don't want to ramble but those are the three things i could say you can start there why do you want to do this and what is it that you want to get Achieve. rid of and mm. do not give away and replace give it some time enjoy not having the stuff and see if you re- can i use the microwave example yeah she doesn't have a microwave 
and she says that she doesn't think that she's gonna buy one because she doesn't see you don't really need you haven't been using it you don't yeah, really need i've it. survived without it she's exactly so maybe she could get it later on but for now she does it's like that so get rid of something and see if you can survive without it mm -hmm. yeah because speaking of i hope this doesn't turn into a long video speaking of that netflix documentary that you spoke of i also watched it and the one guy the one with the long hair yeah he said that when he was going minimal he literally packed up his whole house and then oh, yeah. during the next week to a month he only un unpacked the things that he needed as he needed them and then at the end of the month he looked around and there were so many unopened boxes and everything that was unopened he was like okay so i don't, I don't need, need this, this. <laughs> exactly mm. exactly i like that as well so that was yeah. a good strategy but yeah. i mean it's it's, it's a, lot a lot of work. work it's a lot of work what but it's, it's, if you did it while you were moving in yeah but it's fruitful yeah like i think if you, even if you went like room by room mm. because right now i have four closets like four Four, four doors but also some of them are for your office space let's not forget that i feel like you're being too hard on yourself you think yeah like the only thing that you need is organizing if you get that concept right you will see you don't have a lot of stuff you really don't yeah i really want to make a follow-up video of this in maybe six months Okay. And let's sort of see how far I've we've got, got, got to, in, yeah. in terms of organization. Because yeah. I think we need a routine video. Yeah, we do. So one thing I can advise you, ne, what, what I do when I get home. Okay, now we're working from home. But like now I'm here and then I'm going to get home. I'm going to take these clothes off, put my pajamas on. I fold them. I put them back to their home. Mm. I make sure we see at the end of the night, there's no clutter in my bedroom. Mm. I don't want to leave clutter because I want to wake up in a clean, clutter-free bedroom. Mm. So everything literally goes back to its home. Yeah. That's another thing that you can do. If I use the scissors, my pen, because you know I have a lot of office there in my bedroom. Mm. My pens, they have a home. They stay there. My journals, my daily, everything stays there. The only thing that will spend the night with me is my MacBook on the other side of the bed because I'm watching series and until I fall asleep, mm. which is a bad habit, but it works for me, whatever. But yeah, you see, that's the first thing. That's how you can gain a routine. Mm -hmm. That whenever you, you cook or whatever you do, you clean after that. You clean after yourself. You come back from gym mm -hmm. or you after a run. Attacked. No, after a run, I put my takeys back to where they live and my gym clothes. That's it. But we'll do a follow-up video. And we don't want this video to be long. But this was fun and spontaneous. I didn't want to do this video because I wanted to plan. Because I'm a planner. Yeah. And she's more spontaneous. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I certainly did. You, I hope you guys learned something. And um, what I'll do, I will put the links on my description from the minimalist people that I follow. That I think you could benefit from. And then you can just check out their channel. And the Netflix, Netflix is not sponsoring this video, but it's fine. I'll put the link there. If you have Netflix, you can, maybe it is available on YouTube because the guy who actually directed yeah. the video, Dave Matthew or something like that. He's also a minimalist and he is on YouTube and I'll put his videos there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for coming, friend. Or oh, thank you for no, thank letting you. me record yeah. in your space for this beautiful background. <laughs> so yeah um we'll we're gonna have another collaboration soon and we'll upload that and the candle is doing its job with her not without her so yeah thank don't you for let watching. your candle melt without <laughs> you please don't forget to subscribe like share and click the notification bell and she has a youtube channel which i will link below as well and you can go check out her video, which we just um, collaborated on. Okay. Bye.